Right, hello and welcome. So today I'm heading to a winter outdoor cooking festival called Bush Moot. So I'm going to pick up a friend, Dave. So me and Dave are going to travel and spend just tonight at the <clears throat> the outdoor cooking festival. Hopefully we'll cook some nice food, we'll have a look around see what other people are doing. There's some workshops there, some proper bush crafting type things going on. I've also brought with me a little bit of hand radio and bits and bobs to play while I'm there as well. So it's time to set off and to pick up Dave. Love this, mate. This is gorgeous. It's good, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah. Um, it's got a few things that need, like non-urgent stuff needs fixing, like the door and the whiskey wiper at the back doesn't work. But I've never quite understood the need for windscreen wipers at the back. Oh, also, why they need to be on a separate control? It's, it's raining at the front. It's raining at the back as well. Isn't it? <laughs> I know. Yeah, it is a bit odd. <laughs> yeah, but in Land Rovers, they didn't want to last that long. These things. It lasts about 20 years. Oh, can you have a look? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is scary. Ace. <laughs> oh. That was fun. That was fun. Oh. Well, let's see. Which one is? Just a spot backwards. Right. That's the uh, vehicle squared away. Um, found a nice little spot. You just need to clear the leaves away and then get camp set up. And apparently there's a few workshops on, some tasters and things, so hopefully we'll set up and we can head around and see what's happening. Um, and a bit later we can, oh, you're right. we can do a bit of our own camping then as well. I'm intrigued to see how big this tent is. This should have been an ASMR material. <laughs> Check out how big this is now. Okay. I'll race you. <laughs> I'm nearly done, mate. <laughs> I'm nearly done. I can watch you from inside my tent. <laughs> Good, come on, Dave. You're doing well, mate. You're doing well. Yeah, you, you've missed work. a bit there, though, buddy. You know. So, so that that's great there. Yeah, actually, like that. Yeah, that'll do for now. That's done what you want. Yes, mate. Yeah, perfect. I can go around now and tidy up. Right. right. I am nearly done with the tent. Um, I'll clear up a bit in there so there's less less things to um, get caught on the embers from the fire. Um, what? I've got a nice space here for when the chimney goes up, there's no over, uh, branches up above. I brought with me a little ham radio and a tripod type antenna setup. So I'll get that set up in a bit. So the antenna's got, um, these sort of antennas have got two halves to it. You've got. Is this one walking out? Yes, mate, so I want these to spread an alphabet so that that washes for this. Can I do that as a try? Yeah, just try it now, yeah, just press it and then um, 
it's like that yellow line's like right at the top. Yeah. So I'm going to go out here okay. and not trip over these wires. Um, let's make this a bit smaller. Uh, try that, mate. Minimum 12 at 14.290. Minimum is 12. At 14.290. Oh, is it? Right. Okay, let me just uh, try that one. Minimum 5.1 at 14.630. 1.08 at 14.430. Okay. We could be really pedantic and try and move this to get as low as possible, but we're in like 1.2, 1.5. Sierra Zulu Tango, Sierra Zulu Tango. Sorry, sorry, I don't copy your call, mate. Uh, we're requesting a non copy of weak signal. See again next time, my friend. Okay, just give it up. So, um, I, I tend to just flick around till I find somebody and try and make a contact with them but you can just get a frequency and just sit on it and just call CQ so you'll hear the word CQ 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 a lot and basically it's a method of calling out also 59 I'm a portable station in the central part of the UK the name is Carl Charlie Alpha Romeo Lima QSL Radio Ontario, Mexico, Echo Kilo. Thank you very much. 73. This is Sugar Nancy, 550. Zulu Tango. Sierra Zulu Tango, Mexico 0. Sierra Zulu Tango, 59. Yeah, thank you very much. You're also 5973. 73 by Italy, Italy 2, Victor. Lots of people just chilling out in their tents and do nothing. It's nice and warm, isn't it, as well? Nice big stew on the go. So what's cooking in here? Vegetables, just veg boiling up. Right, yeah. For tea. Yeah. And then the small one's got beans in. Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Ice. Yeah. Wow. They look amazing. I've put some heat on the top. So yeah. It on the top. Yeah. Because it was sat on on the sand, it insulates the underside. Right. So I'm now just making sure that the underside is, is toasted. Toasted as well. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Going through. Fantastic. So, which is what I was doing with that. But I don't want to put the thing on there too long because of course it'll, it'll burn it. Really, and, yeah. um, <laughs> just cooling down at the moment. Oh look at that, that's, that's proper. Fantastic. Yeah. So uh, yeah. <laughs> so th this is hot hot rock cooking. You can stand right. over here, it'll be safer. Okay, about here then, yeah. yeah. Okay. At the moment the one in there, and you can see how it's bubbling. Wow, look, yeah. So underneath that is all the... No, in it's it. just a pot of hot, pot of what, hot, of soup. So, yeah. And so you put the hot rocks in. Historically... You put the hot rocks into the yeah, soup, so right. Historically, it would be the animal well, skin. Yeah. But we brought the deer on Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. That, that was a small rock. Wow. Yeah. And, then, and does that also add to the flavour, then? Uh, or? It will be a bit ashy. Right. You know, this is primitive cooking. This is primitive, yeah, this yeah, is yeah, fine yeah. Dining. Yeah. This is no pot cooking. Right. So. They would use an animal skin rather than a, a pot like this. Yeah, this is this is, this is primitive cooking when you've got no pot. Okay, so this would be an animal skin pushed into the into the it's hole in the ground because yeah. that 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 reflects the heat as well. Or it starts to warm and yeah. insulate. Yeah, and then you drop the hot rocks into the into yeah. the, and you keep dropping yeah. new rocks in. Yeah, yeah, fetch those out. out. I'll fetch it out and then Re right. Them. Yeah. So you're gonna get a little bit of heat tra um, ash transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. Not a huge amount. Amazing that. Yeah, that's going to kill any bacteria. That is good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not doing too bad. Um, two or three contacts so far. Um, no um, big long distance stuff going on though. But Dave's enjoying it, aren't you, mate? Oh, very much. So yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah really, really good. 
Right. So, um, yeah, I got I got an email um, uh, from a, I think it was a Chinese company. I get, I get quite a few emails going, can you, I see that you're into radio, can you try out a little transistor radio, and it's like, oh, that's not, not that type of radio, but uh, I got an email saying, don't try this lamp out, it's got a radio built into it, <laughs> I, I, I went like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll try that out, so I'm here, testing this, this lamp out, but actually, um, I, I am pretty impressed with it, right, so we're back after the battery ran out. Uh, let's. Uh, this has got in it, you know. Um, you can charge your battery off it. Oh, nice. okay. It's got like um, you charge it by USB plugging in there. But you've also got a bit where you can charge it up oh, as well. Yeah. So uh, I am. It's, it's also got a wind up thing on the back. So um, that's good. You can keep it charged that way. It's got a radio built into it. Um. <laughs> That's instantly yeah, fantastic. Yeah. That's just fantastic, isn't it? I mean, like, um, if you really were, like, it's, it's the end. Imagine nuclear strike, yeah. um, grid down, but you have this that you can like keep the light going, yeah, yeah, and then you could you could tune in then and pick up all of these sort of... See, that's a, full, that's a full range there you can pick up there. Fantastic, that's, isn't it? Yeah. But one thing that I think is missing is a bit of character. Yeah, yeah. So, I've got an idea for a bit of character. Let me just turn this in. So now we have a bit of character. <laughs> I quite like that. I think that would sell now. Yeah, I love yeah. it. Yeah, it's like your portable buddy. Yeah. Right. Okay. This is going to be interesting. I'm sure I heard some horns being blown. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. 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 From the bottle. Thank you. Woo! <laughs> the taters go in there. Lovely. It's gonna be banging. just invented some incredible new way of cooking. For well, short multiband dipole antenna, it's about, uh, it's about it's 60 feet over the ground, I yeah. believe. Uh, the uh, antenna is about one of uh, one part of this dipole is uh, uh, the length of one part uh, of this dipole is only Right, you know what time it is, Dave? It's cocktail time. It's cocktail time, mate, yeah. This is the kind of thing that's expected on a um, bushcrafty weekend. We have battled the elements yeah. all day. Yes, mate, we have battled the elements. We've created fire. Yeah, yeah. Um, We've built a shelter. Built a shelter, yeah. We built two shelters. Indeed. When I watched that Tom Cruise film, it wasn't like that. No, no. <laughs> He seemed to have a clue what he was doing. <laughs> oh, that's it, I think. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Yeah. Do I spin it now? <laughs> yeah. Chuck it over your shoulder. Yeah. Okay. Enjoy. Fantastic. Oh. You got arguments in cut off. Cheers. <laughs> Let's have a look. 
we're glowing, but we've lost a bit more. Yeah, get a bit more than there. Yeah, we're just some of the small. Oh, yeah, fucking hell. Yeah, don't drop the whiskey, mate. Swore there, sorry. <laughs> Use an expletive. Oh, this'll be. Is that look enough? Um, if yeah, get a couple more there. Like, yeah, over this, this side would be perfect. That's where the big gap. Lovely. Yeah. Um. I'll leave it open a bit, maybe. The greens are in. The greens are doing nicely in there. Right, good morning. Actually, that was quite a peaceful night uh, in this little wooded area. Uh, <clears throat> it was a very interesting evening, uh, sitting around the fire with a bunch of strangers. Uh, <clears throat> I would highly recommend the bush moot. There's a in the summer, there's a two-week bush moot coming up, so lots of outdoor cooking, bush crafty type things. <clears throat> um, definitely worth either coming down for the full two weeks or, like we did, just come down for one or two evenings. So it's time to uh, get some water, get a brew on, and uh, get home. He's a Land Rover. I'll uh, get that packed up soon. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.